not prisoners, than holding a Russian flag. Russian flag has nothing to do with Nigeria. But you see, IMF, they have destroyed this country for us. Viewers and subscribers, and welcome back again on this platform where we tell you undiluted truth. As Nigerians, wherever you are watching this video, please keep sharing it. Because as we are speaking now, Nigerian federal government have arraigned several and bad governance protesters in Abuja as we speak. And you know the um, charges they have you know, put up against them. Treason. President Bola Tinubu led government on Monday arraigned 10 out of the people arrested during the August Engba governance nationwide protest in Nigeria before a federal high court sitting in Abuja. The accused protesters pleaded not guilty to the count's charges of terrorism and treason-related alleged offenses. The defendants, while taking their pleas before the presiding judge, Justice Emeka White, pleaded not guilty to the six counts filed against them, according to Shara Reporters News Network. A video posted by TVC News showed the ten accused persons in court on Monday waiting for the court to begin proceeding. The Nigerian government on Monday arraigned ten youths arrested in Abuja, Kaduna, Kano and Gombe for demanding for good governance during a protest stamp and bad governance for trumped up charges bordering on treasonable felony before a federal high court in Abuja. The defendants while taking their pleas before the presiding judge, Justice Emeka White, pleaded not guilty to the six counts filed against them. The defendants were brought to the court amidst tight security. While some Nigerians are being tried for treason because of end bad governance protest, the Nigerian security operatives were seen outside the courtroom harassing Nigerians who tried to attend the court section where a charade of a trial is being conducted against Nigerians who came up to speak up and protest bad governance. As you can see, very scanty and very few people are coming out, perhaps brothers or relatives or friends of those being arraigned. So it is now treasonable to protest against bad governance in Nigeria. The same government that sponsored protests, anti-bad governance protests, is charging Nigerian citizens for voicing out. So in Nigeria today as we speak, it has become a banana republic that Nigerians don't dare speak up against bad governance or protest bad policies of government and everybody is looking at Kimbo everybody is looking as if to say it doesn't concern them it's unfortunate if these people feel abandoned for coming out to protest against bad governance you know what will happen you know what the federal government is, is, is going to achieve if Nigerian people do not stand up in mass, in fact, the center for this protest should not be at the court premises where they are prosecuting Nigerians. Forever daring to protest against bad governance, to end bad governance, to end corruption. So you see, these guys are not ready to end anything. Impunity and corruption in the system. They are the architect of it. But to Nigerian people, if you think this one doesn't concern you, you just, if these guys succeed, in prosecuting these guys without any Nigerian showing solidarity or Nigerian people showing solidarity. <laughs> the one of the one they are saying that by October, they are projecting October, they will come out again for protest. Nobody will come out. Nigeria. It is more treasonous than holding a Russian flag. Russian flag has nothing to do with Nigeria. But you see, IMF, they have destroyed this country for us. They have made us extremely poor people. All the way from the 1970s, coming to this very day, IMF remains our biggest problem. And Tinubu is a slave to IMF. And we are saying now that we reject all IMF policy. The removal of subsidy, the removal of electric uh, uh, fuel subsidy, the removal of electric subsidy, the removal of the, the, the implementation of student loans in Nigeria, we reject it and we are calling for student grants. We reject all IMF policies in Nigeria. When they have seen that those who came out are suffering and nobody cares, 
Nigerian people should show solidarity. It doesn't matter your religion or your ethnic nationality. Everybody must vote. You know, this is exactly why they are trying to put up this anti um, or this um, tribal bigotry and pickering among Nigerians so as to make sure they achieve this their purpose. To, 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 to cow Nigerians, to subject Nigerians to the point that they cannot ever raise up to speak up against bad governance. Well, it's up to you. It's up to you as a Nigerian to start to start sharing this video to wake up the consciousness of other people. Nigerians should live above ethnic bigotry. Let them unite together for once against bad governance and politics. It doesn't matter where they are coming from. All these politicians, they are from the east, they are from the west, they are from the north, they are from the south. They are Christians, they are Muslim. They are, some of them are practicing traditional worship. They are all one and the same. And the victims are you, Nigerian people. Let me just keep it at this and hope you will share this video to the rest of other Nigerians. What's your take on it? Drop it in the comment section. Let's show solidarity to these people by sharing this video to everyone.